Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to learn how to build a first Hello World H2O Wave application. The H2O Wave application is um, basically a software stack that helps you build a web application. In the previous video, we learned how to install H2O Wave. If you have not seen it, please check it out. It's it's a it's a pretty simple process. So in this video, we'll learn how to build our first Hello World application. We are going to uh, follow their tutorial pretty much not going to do anything different uh, so the first step is you need to run your existing uh, wave server so if you have already got a wave server make sure uh, that you invoke it so first get, uh, get your terminal and once you have your terminal let me increase the size of the terminal if you cannot see it let me increase the size i think this is this is decent let me put this in one side this in one side i hope you can see that okay so now that we have this the first step is you have to you have to run uh, wave so wherever you have installed wave and if you have followed their tutorial probably you would have installed wave in your home directory um, wave and then you can go there and then do waved so once you do this thing you can see that at this point the wave server is uh, initiated so you can basically go to local host um local host i think the url is uh, the port number is 100 let me just quickly check the port number um it is still loading that's uh, that's quite bad for what it's worth yeah uh okay let's uh let's see this um local host one zero zero one okay it's 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 searching my duck duck go that's fine that uh we'll get to it uh so it's basically 101 that support in which it is running so you can see it is saying wait for, waiting for content that means now you can be sure that your wave application is successfully running so uh, this is one uh once you you know that your wave application is running so it's better you create a new environment so now is the place where you are going to um uh, put your wave application so make sure that um you want to put it in a place so what i want to do is i want to create a, a document uh, a directory uh, where i usually keep my python codes and uh, i'm going to call it wave apps okay uh, inside wave apps i'm going to enter into wave apps okay so once i'm into wave apps um i can i can just start with my basic uh, application so before even um, i do that uh, let's say i want to create a new directory get here uh, hello world okay so now at this point i've got uh, my hello world uh, you can see hello world okay that's nice so you can either create a virtual environment only uh, within this directory or you can uh, you can have a virtual environment uh, overall it's up to you python 3 m v n v n so i'm uh, i'm creating a virtual environment first that's what it is advisable so once I once the virtual environment is created, then we are going to be in action. So the virtual environment is created, and then the first step is uh, maybe like um, we can we can first uh, activate the virtual environment, saying we and uh, we in bin activate permission denied. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with the permission issues. Uh, so let me first quickly install the app. Uh, sorry, the uh, package. Three install H two O wave. So it's installing H two O wave first. Uh, that's the package that is required for us uh, primarily to do this task. So that is successfully installed. So once that is successfully installed, our next next step is for us to create a new file and for us to create a new uh, wave file uh, we can use any code editor in this case i'm going to invoke my vs code so my vs code is loaded and uh, within my vs code 
I am going to just basically paste whatever they have uh, um, that we get in the um, help document. Then I'm going to save it within the same directory. I'm going to call it um, okay. Uh, let let me just quickly save it and then I'll show it to you. I'm going to call it a uh, hello world. I'm not going to give any special name for it. Wave apps hello world hello world dot py. Okay, as you can see, this is basically copied from their uh, documentation. I've not done anything different. I can explain this code. So first of all, uh, wave. So the wave, if you see, the server has a lot of pages. So this is one page that we're calling. Uh, so whatever you are giving here, that's going to be like uh, your home URL, something like that. So you have, uh, we are importing site and UI. So UI is going to help us add UI components. So if you are familiar with um, all of these um, packages or libraries that help you create, uh, that help you create, uh, uh, that help you create a web application simply so every everything follows almost the same uh, formula where um, you have got a, a ui class and from there you can add the function that you want uh, if you see streamlit uh, you would probably import streamlit as st and from there you would start adding ui components so you can see uh, this this is basically a markdown card where you can start adding things in markdown so you can have markdown content uh, not necessarily we have to have the same content we can say hello world um, let's say this is one little coder trying to show you h2o wave demo okay that sounds nice and uh, this is the box position where it you want it to appear on the page uh, and finally you can save the page so uh, loading the page so once you save the page, uh, the next thing that you want to do is let's take it down. You want to go to the page where this is loading. Okay. Uh, so you have to go to which is called uh, in this case as hello. Sorry. In this case, it is called hello. Uh, but uh, that hello has to be loaded. So that's why I'm going to show you first. If you load hello, you wouldn't basically see anything because there is nothing. It's still waiting for the content. So what you can do is you can go and run Python 3. Okay. It says uh, no module. Uh, that is primarily because I was trying to run it just like that rather than activating my virtual environment. So then python 3 so at this point when you can see that the moment we ran the code you could see that this this uh, this successfully showed the demo so it says hello world this is one little code trying to show you h2o demo uh, so the same way you can actually basically uh, change it um, you can go change whatever you want for example um, you've got hello here so let's say instead of hello you want to say uh you want probably you want to show it in the home page itself so now you can say go virtual environment and uh, now instead of hello what we are going to do is we are showing it in the home page itself so these are uh, the things that you can start doing like for example um instead of the markdown page now you can have something else or even in the content you can say um this is uh, okay this is a title let's see let's try to run it and then you can okay maybe it's not renting properly but uh, you can start uh, adding the content here you can have multiple cards here and that is how um, you would basically start adding uh, um, the you would basically start adding the way uh, components to the wave application so this is uh, this is a very simple demo uh, so basically we followed whatever they showed in the documentation and uh, we started uh, we started going through we, we started with uh, creating a directory to put our apps and then uh, from that we created our own directory uh, so maybe you can do like uh, how i did it 
or you can have one virtual environment for all the wave application it's up to you uh, so you can basically do whatever you want to do and then um, you install the uh, h2o wave uh, library python library or uh, package for you to start using it in the code so as you know with any virtual environment whatever package that you want to use within code so you have to make sure that you are installing it once that is done then you add your code um, whatever python file name it basically doesn't matter much because um, this is the this is the place where you are actually defining the page the wave page and uh, this will not work if you stop the server just wanted to show you if you stop the server nothing works because of course the server is not running um, so that's the main concept uh, you now you have managed to successfully write your first wave application basically the hello wave uh, hello world i'm saying hello wave hello world application uh, but um, yeah nonetheless it's the first step and uh, happy coding so welcome to h2o wave let's hope that it's a good beginning